34, uh, which means I have to exercise now. Uh, but, it, but I'm only 34, which means I don't have to exercise sober yet. Uh, still in the green zone. So my favorite form of exercise is like a float. You know, like just a little smoke and go for a walk around at night with my headphones in. I can love it, you know? Great time. Except I'm not meant to do that because I'm sort of this size and shape. And even though I've got like a few kilos maybe I'd like to lose, I'm still small enough to fit in a van, you know? <laughs> but I found a way to do it, which is I put on sort of all of my clothes at once, sort of big jackets, sort of big sort of, my husband's as well, big jackets, big sort of things like that, mm-hmm, with a low voice, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And it's working because I haven't been attacked yet. <laughs> but it's working too well because I am scaring other women. <laughs> uh, overcorrected, now I'm part of the problem. I don't know how to fix it except to sort of sing Adele songs at the same time because <laughs> anyone out at night in all their clothes singing Adele is only a danger to themselves. <laughs> like, surely. I don't know. I've been spending a lot of time on the internet lately. I don't like it. It's a weird place. Apparently there's two rules of the internet. One, don't click the clickbait. Two, don't read the comments. But that's all the internet is. That's it. That's all, you know, of course, you know, like the news is click. Everything is click. Like there's the, there's the, the classics, like, uh, like uh, this woman was in a coma for 30 years until they played the nut bush. Click to watch the moment. She jumps out of bed and does the dance, surprising all the nurses, reuniting the face. Yeah, click, absolutely. 100%. Or like, everyone ran from this swarm of bees, but this guy gave him a chance working at his local bakery, and now they're CEO of their own company called Beastie Yeasty. Click for 15% off your first Beastie. Absolutely! Click! I want 15% off Beastie Yeasty. And then underneath is just like this Jacob's Ladder of Comets, just, just endless, you know? It's always the same, though. If you look at them for long enough, you start to sort of see a pattern. The first one is always sort of this one, which is, um, uh, it's, uh, uh, well, this blew up. Would you like to buy a sunset lamp? <laughs> and then under that is this comment, which is, those sunset lamps are made by Taiwanese orphans, you piece of shit, and they're not biodegradable, and you're a fucking piece of shit forever suggesting you should buy. And then underneath is someone going, well, I'm a teenager in Norway, and I have seasonal effective depression, and so that sunset lamp was the only reason that I didn't kill myself last winter, and so you're saying people like me should just go and kill ourselves. And I'm like, yeah, fuck you, don't give a fuck about Norwegian teens with seasonal effective depression. <laughs> And then someone else is like, well, I cured my seasonal effective depression by staring at this crystal and uh, looking at the sun. And someone's like, don't buy those crystals. I bought one of those crystals and we had seven months of bad luck. We lost everything. The house, the dog died. My husband lost his job. And then someone else is like, well, I've got a job your husband can do where he earns $4,000 a week working from home. (laughs) Where the fuck are we? And then somebody with no irony or self-awareness comes in and goes, well, uh, lol, why do I crave hamburgers? And then someone with even less irony or self-awareness comes in and goes, you might be low on iron. (laughs) What the fuck? Where are we? Just free-falling through the fucking abyss, you know? Just going through, just through the abyss, just scrolling through so deep you can't get back to the surface, you know? Just gaze into the abyss, let the abyss gaze back into you, take a moment if you can to rate the abyss because the abyss works on customer feedback and actually nine out of 10 (laughs) consumers rated the abyss four out of five stars and Gerald writes, uh, I stared at the abyss and the abyss stared straight back at me, great service from the abyss would stare again. (laughs) And Leslie says, I'm usually more of a screaming into the void kind of a girl but I had got this abyss stare for my birthday and I really enjoyed it. Great present, thanks Sarah. What are we doing? What are we doing? It's hard. It's hard to be a person. It's hard to want things and need things and feel things and want to maintain your cuticles. Mine are fucking terrible. And I I try. Every morning I wake up, I take a magnesium tablet, even though I have no idea what it fucking does (laughs) at all. And I've been taking it every morning for 10 years. And so far, my life has not gotten, like, markedly better. But I have to take it now every morning because what if that's the only reason my life's not worse? <laughs> I'm locked in. 
I'm locked in. I take it every morning, swallow it down uh, with my orange juice after I brush my teeth so it tastes yucky, and I go look myself in the eyes and go, well, look, you've done everything you can. Hmm? <laughs> I try and cover a lot of topics in my jokes. I try and cover things. People accuse you of, of not joking about the right things. Some things are important, some things aren't. You know, I've got my, my feminist sort of jokes on walking home at night, those sort of things. Um, have been accused of caring not enough about men's issues, important men's topics like um, like men's mental health. A few accusations, but I I do I really care about men's mental health. I'm obsessed with men's mental health. Every single time I go out for a walk at night, I see a man. The first thing I think, the first thing is, is this motherfucker crazy? The first thing, number one, number one. You've been lovely. Thanks so much. Have a good night. <laughs>